Lindsay, can you tell us what different career paths are available for a pharmacy student upon completion of the Doctor of Pharmacy program? Sure, there's many options now uh, for those that are graduating from pharmacy school. Uh, you could go on to do an industry fellowship if you're looking to work for the pharmaceutical industry. Um, there's some other fellowships as well, like toxicology fellowships. Uh, you could go on to do a PGY1 general practice residency if you're looking to do a little more clinical pharmacy. Um, a lot of times PGY1 residencies are also um, necessary to work in a hospital uh, to be a staff pharmacists because many staff pharmacists um, do some clinical work along with staffing and that just means a, a lot of order order entry staff pharmacists you know the old staff pharmacist was in the the hospital basement you know putting in orders but now um, it's usually a split clinical slash staff so um, if you're looking to do that you should probably go on and do a PGY1 residency if you're interested in specializing and being even more clinical you would go on um, to do a PGY2 residency in a, in a specialty whether it be infectious disease critical care cardiology oncology uh, also you could go on to become a retail pharmacist there's also PGY1 programs programs in retail if you're looking to do um, things like MTM um, in the retail setting. Uh, you could also go on to become a consultant pharmacist. Consultant pharmacists uh, work for nursing homes, um, reviewing charts and, and making medication recommendations. So what advice would you give to a student who's undecided of what they want to do? Uh, as a student, it's a good idea to really get an array of advanced practice rotations. Um, you're going to want to not pick the easiest rotations. Uh, even if you think you want to go into one particular area, like you want, you know you want to be a retail pharmacist or you think you know you want to be a retail pharmacist, um, I would say don't just pick the easiest rotations because you never know um, you might change your mind. So I would say pick some challenging rotations. I would say pick an array of rotations in different um, settings so that you can know, you know, get a better idea of what it is you really want to do. So what other things can students do while they're in pharmacy school to enhance their curriculum vitae? Well, it is important in pharmacy school um, to be focusing on your CV or your curriculum vitae um, because uh, pharmacy is becoming more and more competitive once you get out of school. Um, Many people are doing residencies. The number of um, students going into residency programs increases each year. Um, same with PGY2 residencies, that increases each year. So you're going to need to be able to set yourself apart. Um, even if you're just going into retail, you're going to want to be able to set yourself apart um, from the next candidate. So throughout school, you should be getting involved with clubs. Um, you should be getting uh, volunteering. Um, that might be through those clubs. It's always good to hold an office, try to be an officer. Um, for for an organization uh, or club. Um, I would say also make sure grades aren't everything but but you're gonna want to show that you were you know doing your best and, and getting some grades especially if you want to do a residency program uh, a lot of programs with a lot of applicants or even those that don't have as many applicants uh, due to the pool being so much larger each year uh, have a grade point uh, average cutoff, so you're going to want to make sure you're, you're really um, not letting your, your grades go and that throughout school, even early on, if you're undecided, uh, you really should be making sure you're not letting your academics um, go by the wayside. Make sure you're doing your best. Uh, other than that, I would say if you can get a good uh, internship, working in the sort of a setting that you think you might want to be in uh, is a good idea. You can make connections and, and meet mentors by doing that, um, and it's also, you know, good experience to help you down down the road. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I would suggest um, that you should do throughout pharmacy school. Definitely work on your time management. That becomes a you know a major issue if you go into a residency program, or even when you start your job. You know, time management is so important. So, what stands out among pharmacy residency applicants? that you review? Uh, when, when we're reviewing applicants to bring on site for an interview for our residency program, um, the things that I mentioned before about your CV, looking to see that you were getting involved or that you were uh, had some leadership roles or were um, 
also that you were you know doing your best as far as academics go that you've had some experience somewhere uh, then it gets into the advanced practice rotations if we're, we're talking about applying to residency programs you're going to want to have done a nice variety of challenging uh, advanced practice rotations uh, especially if you are you know looking to go into a certain area you've, you definitely need to have done some sort of um, had some sort of experience with that sometimes uh, at certain schools you don't have a lot of control over that um, but but certainly try to get a variety of uh, challenging rotations. Can you tell us a little bit about the residency process? So you apply and then there's this phase one and now phase two? Uh, well now, you know, more recently in the, the last year or two, there are two phases to the match. Um, and this is probably because of the, the large number of applicants and the larger pool of applicants that um, comes about each year. So uh, through the first match, uh, after that, if you did not match, you get put into a second match, which is a similar to the first match, just a little more organized than what used to happen, which was just the first match and then what we call the scramble. The scramble still exists after the second match, but the idea was to get more programs and applicants matched in a more organized fashion after the first match. So if we have any further questions, how can we get a hold of you? Well, you can certainly leave your questions here. Um, on this video below, or you could go to our website, Rx Duo. We do have a contact form there. Um, we are on social media as well if you wanted to ask us um, on Instagram or something like that if you're more comfortable with that. Um, but certainly let us know if you have questions. We do um, a lot of this and have a lot of experience with it, and we're always looking to help um, people further their, their career after pharmacy school and through residencies. Thank you, Lindsay. Thanks, Brent.